Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I have another EQA video for you and in this one I'm going to show you how you can import fabric swatches from a manufacturer's website into EQ8. So we're going to go up to, this is the Motive site and let me show you how I got there. Um, so let me get out of here and I'm going to go to modafabrics.com try that again okay so we're going to go to modafabrics.com and just give that a bit to load now each manufacturer has things set up a little bit differently but moda has it set up really nicely so that you can download the swatches in just a few steps. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom and under free and fun it says fabric download. So I'm going to click here. Okay now here's the list of all their fabric swatches and it's a pretty long list. You can see there's nine pages here. And what I'm looking for are, are the dates that they go into the stores. What I'm looking for today is Christmas fabrics. And I'm wanting some that are just coming out so that they will be available in the stores. So I don't want to look at anything from last year because they, you know, could be sold out. So I'm going to go to style and I'm going to click on Christmas. And I'm going to leave designer as it is. I don't know a collection name right now. So this is all I need. And I'm going to click go. And then this will sort out all the Christmas fabrics that they have swatches for. Okay, so here we have the style. And it all says Christmas. And the collection names are here. And the designers are here. And here is the swatch page, JPEG images, whether it has a free pattern and some of them you will see do like this uh, poinsettia is pine metallic and the Marche de Noel which I used last year and here's the dates that they will be in the stores so anything from 2022 is what I'm looking for and you notice they start in May so May on to July here and if you want to just look at the swatches you can click on the collection name and it'll show you the swatches there and you can look at them and decide if it's something you want to download so I've already gone through the list and I've decided on several that I want to download and I've already downloaded four of them but I've got three more to go so the next one I want to download is I believe in angels this is a bunny hill designs so I'm going to click on the JPEG images and that should start an automatic download and so you're going to have to wait for that to download. It can take a while. Um, down here is the download here and it says one hour and it, it's going to bounce back and forth. It's going to bounce from, uh, it started at two hours. Well now we're down to 20 minutes, but that's no guarantee. It's only going to take 20 minutes. It could take longer. So what I usually do is go and do something else. Just let it download um, and I'll come back in 20 to 30 minutes and proceed with the next step. Okay, so the file has been downloaded. Now what, it, what I want to do is I need to delete the items in there that I don't want to upload into EQ. And so I'm going to go to my downloads file and here is the folder here and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to extract all. And it's going to go down to the same folder and that's fine. So we'll extract that and it'll take a little bit of time it, not too much I'll just take you know a few seconds here um, the reason I want to do this is because um, it also will download anything like um, pictures of fat quarters and charm packs and um, any uh, swatches you know a page full of swatches or um, 
here let, let me show you here okay so now i need to go to view so i can and i'm going to click large icon so i can see them or let's do extra large okay you see this folder right here all of these it says ruler and all of these swatches have a ruler on the bottom so if i downloaded this it would show each one of these with a ruler at the bottom and then when i use them within a design i'm working on that ruler would be there so i don't need that so I'm going to go back to large icons I'm going to click on that and then hit my delete key now I'm also going to go to these here we've got fat quarters um, fat ace there's jelly roll um, layer cake charm packs and I'm going to delete all of those so I'm going to click the first one and then hit the shift key and hit the last one and then hit delete um, and then this last one this is a sheet of all the swatches I'm going to delete that and now we're all ready to go so I'm going to close out of that and go to EQ8 and here's the home page I'm going to click on libraries and fabric library and we're going to import from the image and I'm looking for I believe in angels which is right here so we're going to double click and I also want to view this um, let's do large icons again make sure that's the correct one click on the first one hold down the shift key click on the last one and that selects all of the fabrics and then click open and then We'll give this some time to upload and down here in the left corner left lower corner you have the progress bar so it's going to show you the progress it's making as it's uploading all of those swatches into this screen so you have to give it time it doesn't take as long as it does to download them from the website now yours may go a little bit faster than mine i have an older computer I have a lot of stuff on my computer so things seem to be a little bit draggy and also the location that I'm at um, internet speed isn't the best so it everything takes a little bit longer but this is not a, a real slow process at this point so you can see we're almost completely loaded and then those fabrics will show up in place of these default fabrics right here okay there they are and over here in the lower right corner it's telling me there are 30 free sw 33 swatches and so I can scroll through and look at all of those that's a cute line okay so now I need to save them so I'm going to select all and copy and then I'm going to go to my favorite fabrics. Now I have um, my favorite libraries here and then I have several modas. This is the last one I did was Cheer and Merriment by Fancy That Design House. I have Fig Tree, Lala Boutique, just straight moda. I have some Riley Blake. Um, so I'm gonna put all of my modas in one spot and they will go um, by alphabetical order anyway so but I wanted to go under my favorite libraries and I'm going to create a new library and then I'm going to type in a name so and you can and you can name it anything you want I'm going to go by the designer so this is Bunny Hill Designs Okay, and here it says it's starting with 10 styles. You can change that. I'm going to leave it at 10. I'm going to click OK. And here we are. So I'm going to click that plus arrow. And here we, ha here we have the styles. Um, I'm going to click on style 1 and then right click on it. And I want to modify the style. Here you see it says add library. So you can add another one under that style if you want to. But right now I just need to modify it, which means I'm just going to rename it. So I'm going to click modify style. 
and in here I'm going to type the name of the collection and it's I Believe in Angels. And click OK. OK, so now I'm going to click the Paste button. And there they are. They're all right there. And now I need to save. And then it tells me I've saved everything. Click OK. And we're done. So now I can work on a quilt and use these fabrics and uh, see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. And let's, let's go to um, a new project here. And I'm going to type a name. Okay, this is Christmas Quilt 2022. And we're going to design a quilt from scratch. And horizontal, I'm going to do a quick layout here. Um, I'm going to do, let's adjust those. Let's do 10 inch blocks. I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't uh, decided what I'm going to do yet, but we're going to come up with something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and include a sash and let's do a two inch sash and a two inch border and add another border and we'll do this one. Um, let's do this one five. And let me go back to the borders because there we go because I made a mistake there. Okay, so we'll go to the, the design tab and I'm going to click here. I'm doing just doing something really quick. Let's do this star. Okay, and now we can go to um, the fabric tools, open the library, and I'm going to my favorite fabrics. And here's I Believe in Angels, and I'm going to select them all and add them to the sketchbook and then close. And here they are. So they're all right there and I can work with them however I want and just um, come up with a design that I like. So let's do, um, I'm gonna see what this is. Okay, I'm gonna collect this one and it has little bells and um, holly leaves. So let's see what that looks like here. And that's that's an okay design, but it's a little bit small. So let me um, I think I'd rather have a larger print in that area. Here we have lost some dots and some checks. see what that looked like this one here that one is showing ticking that one's still a bit small I don't know that's a little bit bigger okay it looks like most of the fabrics in this one are going to be small small designs Okay, let's look at the star.
Um, okay, so I want, what I want to do though is rotate those blocks. So I'm going to go to the block tools and the rotate and I want to rotate them all the same. So there is one Christmas quilt you can use. You can do some other changes. Uh, let's go back to the fabrics and um, let's see what it looks like if I do if I do this. Kind of gives it a little more texture. I like that look. Uh, and then let's try this plaid for these background squares. We're getting a little more of an antique look on the quilt. So there's a lot of things you can do and play around with this um, design and um, play with the fabrics and decide what you like. You can pull in fabrics from other collections and put them in you know, any uh, design that you're working on, you don't have to stick with just one collection to design a quilt. So that is how you can download fabric swatches from the Moda website. Now, other fabric manufacturers' websites are different, so you'll have to search through them and figure out um, how to download them. Now, I'll, basically what you need is a JPEG. So, um, on some of those they may not have a download page like Moda does so what you'll have to do is get to the fabric swatch and then uh, right click on it and then save it as um, a JPEG file to your computer and then follow the rest of the steps so it should all be um, pretty simple it may take longer that way but it shouldn't be as you know it shouldn't be real time consuming but um, so you just have to try that out and see how that works for you um, if you have any other questions please uh, put them in the comment box below and I'll try and answer them for you so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know if you are enjoying these EQ8 videos thanks for watching thanks for watching for more quilting ideas click on the video links and to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.